hello everyone welcome to the channel in this video i am going to introduce you to a very interesting model which enables you to extract html from your ui designs if you ever have done web development in any sort of company or as a freelancer you know that normally the end users or clients or other stakeholders you they provide you a ui in terms of an image where they just draw that ui and then they expect you to convert it into html code web development involves turning ui designs into functional web pages which can be difficult for the web developers to due to the complexity of <clears throat> html hierarchical structures and styles we know that large language models can convert these images into source code. We have seen a lot of extensions, even OpenAI's GPT-40 model is quite good, but still there are two challenges these LLMs, both open source and closed source face, which is first to effectively represent HTML's hierarchical structure, secondly to bridge the gap between visual nature of UI designs and the text-based format of HTML code. This is where this model Wiffle helps a lot. It is a new model that uses this fine tuning strategy that uses a structure aware attention mechanism to improve LLM's understanding of HTML structure and a contrastive fine tuning approach to align LLM's understanding of UI images and HTML code. And that is what we are going to do here to install it locally and then we will give it an image of UI design and then we will see if it generates a HTML source code out of it. Before I do that, let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and G GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on good prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I am also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on range of GPUs. This is my OS where I am running Ubuntu 22.04. And this is a GPU card, NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM courtesy Mast Compute. Let me create a virtual environment. With Conda, I'm just using Python 3.10. Let's wait for it to get <clears throat> activated. And now let's install some of the prerequisites, which are usual stuff from Torch Transformer. And you can get this information from their model card which is here on Hugging Face that I will drop the link to it in video's description. These prerequisites are going to take 4 to 5 minutes so let's be patient there. All the prerequisites are done. Now we also need to git clone the repo of Wiffle which you can access here at wiffle.git or from their Hugging Face page and that is also done and we have seeded into that. Now let's install and launch our Jupyter Notebook so because it will make it easier to play around with this model and download it in the browser environment. So let's wait for it. Shouldn't take too long. And my notebook is launched. Let's import the libraries which we have installed, which include all of these torch and stuff and also this utils from the repo which we have just downloaded. And that should be done shortly. That's done. Next, let's define a couple of functions. So, sorry, let me paste it properly. So, this function is just simply converting the image of UI design, which we will be passing into red, green, blue. That is the required. And that is done. And now let's define a big function, which I will explain what that is doing. So, this function is primarily downloading the model and then transforming that image which we have passed and then it is using downloading this model VLM website from Hugging Phrase from here and then it is just setting some of the hyperparameters. It is just adjusting some of the pixel and you have to use this function as is. This has been provided by them in their repo and then it is writing the generating the html that is what we want we will be providing it a ui and it is going to provide us the html okay so let me run it here that is done and now let's define our main function let me paste it here 
just bear with me i think my copy paste is stuck anyway there you go okay so all i'm doing here is i am just calling the function which we have just defined so this is going to first download the model and then it will check out that image this is the image which we are passing and let me also show you the image this is the image which we are passing and it is going to generate the html out of it in this file okay so let me run it and it is running at the moment it is going to download the model there are four shards of the model so let's wait for them to get downloaded and while that happens let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are agent ql agent ql is a query language for extracting data from web pages quickly easily and at scale you can use the python sdk to run your queries in production using playwright and use the browser based debugger for optimizing queries in real time on any web page agent ql is a robust alternative to fragile xpath and dom css selectors as it uses the power of ai to analyze the page structure to find the data you are looking for okay so and i will drop the link to their website in video's description too let's go here let's wait for this model to get downloaded and generate that html for this image because it does everything in that function and the last shard is being downloaded the model size is i would say around just under 15 gig so make sure that you have that much space on your system and the model has loaded and it has generated the html code which is present on the disk in the same directory you can also change it this is what we gave so it has generated this so you just need to open it in the browser and then check the source and this is your html code with all the hierarchical structure how good is that also if you want to see how much um, vram this model is using then you can just simply go to terminal and you can see that at the moment it is just using around 34 gig of vram so you would need at least that much of course you need to leave some of the room there so all in all real good stuff i think um, real awesome and because they have also provided the source code so you can optimize it you can customize it as per your own requirement all the information the commands are present on this model card you just have to create the conda environment like i did and then off you go so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think about this if you like the content please do me a favor and subscribe to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching and thanks for all the support